my channel or if you're one of the almost 8 thousand new subscribers, then I just want to give a big welcome to you guys. For those of you who are new, I want to introduce myself. My name is Madeline Klein and I am a 20 year old professionally certified makeup artist. I attended cinema makeup school back in 2017 and I graduated with the master's program. So that means I know how to do character makeup, beauty makeup, airbrush, special effects, prosthetics, the whole shebang. If you are one of the 8,000 new subscribers currently watching this video, first of all, hello, how are ya? You likely found my channel through Ricky Dillon's recent video. Ricky Dillon recently uploaded a video featuring featuring Shane Dawson titled Being Too Honest with Shane Dawson. In this video, Ricky is kicking off his new series called Steal the Show, where basically he asks fans to submit videos of their talents, where he and a guest judge are going to be judging them each episode. And I am so excited to say that my work was chosen to be featured in this video. It is still incredibly shocking to me. I It doesn't quite feel like it's real. It kind of is like a roller coaster of emotions where it hits me. And then I kind of just go through the motions and I'm like, this is happening. This is happening. And then it really hits me again. And so it's been an emotional roller coaster and I'm just so happy and excited and blessed that they thought that my work was notable enough and worthy enough to be featured in his video. Not even to mention the almost eight thousand of you who decided to come over and show support by either subscribing to my channel or commenting and I can't stress this enough how lovely all of you are because I am just, I feel at home when I read your comments. You guys are all so kind and I love being able to interact with you guys and talk about our interests because literally I, I so desperately wish we were just all in a room so I could give you all a hug and thank you personally because you guys like, Ricky Dillon gave me the platform to be able to grow, but you guys are the ones who decided to come over to my channel and give me that boost. And so without you guys, I wouldn't have this boost. I wouldn't be making this video. And it truly means so much to me that you guys believe in me and that you think what I'm doing is cool because literally I'm just over here like, like I'm doing what I love and the fact that I can build a community off of this and be able to interact with you guys and have fun and it just literally be its own little family means so much to me because I've wanted that for my channel for so long. And so the fact that I have, it really means a lot to me. So anyways, with that being said, we're going to be moving on to the next part of the video. I am going to be talking more about my channel and video ideas and more information on that at the end of the video. So please feel free to stick around for that because I really want y'all's opinion on certain topics for my channel. So we're going to be talking about that at the end, but I thought it'd be fun if we did a video where I am reacting to Ricky Dillon and Shane Dawson react to my work. I mean, to be fair, I've probably watched this video like over 30 times already because I've been so excited. So it's not a real reaction because I've already seen it multiple times, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of, you know, talk about a few points that they mentioned in the video. This is actually heavily inspired by Samantha Loudermilk, who was also included in Ricky Dillon's video. She was the duet partner where they did the pianos, which in my opinion, that personally ranked top three for me. I found that so entertaining, mostly because I occasionally play piano and I understand how difficult it is. So to try and just fathom doing all of that while playing piano is just incredibly impressive to me. And I just loved that video. Okay, in case y'all like weren't watching the entire video, which I assume y'all did. Erica is so freaking talented and you guys need to check out her social media because I'm just so impressed. Her voice literally gives me chills, so I just wanted to throw that in there. Also, just an idea if you guys want, I highly recommend going and supporting all of these other channels that were mentioned in Ricky Dillon's video because I just personally know how big of a difference literally in my life it made for you guys coming over to support me and I just can only imagine how much it would mean to them as well, especially because they are all so insanely talented and all in different ways as well. And so something I personally love is me and some of the other people have like kind of started messaging each other and it's so wholesome. Ricky Dillon's really bringing everybody together. I love it so much. Okay, this one's really this one's really cool. I'm just gonna show you pictures because okay. she sent me like all over, all over work. Okay, no, I'm already talking. Uh, <laughs> this is still so insane to me that like, Acknowledging the fact that Ricky Dillon and Shane Dawson have seen my face and seen my work and they have been like it's so insane to me because these are two YouTube icons who we've all looked up to for so long. Yeah. Wait, that that's her. Amy? No, that's, that's her. her? That's her. Mm. I'll show you a clip of a video. Wow. Have you seen Venom? The movie? No, but I know what it is. Yeah, she did Whoa, that. Whoa, that's her? Where is yeah, she? The, she? She's there. 
I love that so much. Like someone had like mentioned in the comments, like that was like one of their favorite like snippets from the entire thing. It was like, where is she? She's, I don't know, I thought it was funny. She's pretty. Aren't these good? Wow. Ricky Dylan called me pretty. Incredible, right? Here, I'll show you a clip. Hold on, let me pull up the video she sent. Oh my gosh. She has, she has, she everyone go subscribe to her right now. This girl's Y'all did. Wait, Y'all that's blew crazy. me up. Yeah, dude. If you told me that some of those pictures, like, oh yeah, this from a video has like 5 million views, I'd be like, yeah, I don't want to get it. The fact that she's getting 281 views, what the f***? Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll blow her up. She turned herself into Spider-Man? <gasps> I love Spider-Man! Whoa, oh, she did body paint on somebody. I just never paint you. Oh, okay, so real fast. First of all, out of all of the things I sent into them, I only sent them in all of the pictures that you guys saw in the very beginning of that video. I didn't send him in the Spider-Man one, and that was probably, that was in like the first 10 videos, I believe, I ever uploaded. So they went back. They went to like the very beginning of my channel like a year and a half ago, which is crazy. And I do remember whenever I did that Spider-Man body paint, I was kind of bummed because I was trying to replicate the suit as perfectly as possible. Except I remember kind of being pissed a little bit because the suit didn't really have like contours in them like the original Spider-Man movie costumes. And so I was kind of upset because this one was kind of mostly just flat. So I didn't really get to experience contouring that much with it. Even though now I feel like I definitely would have done that and just taken that creative liberty but I definitely loved being able to do that for like the Captain America body paint because I, I, I got to contour which was really fun because for me I feel like that brings makeup to life and stuff. I, I would love While that. that guy raps and the girl sings on the toilet. I want to see her doing her face crazy. The beautiful trio. I would seriously love it if like we all got to do that. That would be such an amazing opportunity. Is he? Hold on. Evil gingerbread man? What? Uh, Whoa. Yeah she's crazy talented. Where does she live? In Los Angeles. Oh, okay, so real fast. I think the reason they thought I lived in Los Angeles is because in my about section, I mentioned how my education for makeup was I went to cinema makeup school in Los Angeles. But after I finished my schooling, I just kind of knew I was ready to move back home. I knew I could get more opportunities at home because Los Angeles is very competitive and you don't really get paid much in the beginning and I knew where I lived, I could. So in case any of you care, I actually live in a small town outside of San Antonio, Texas. So so represent all my Texans out there, yee yee. We need to do a video where the winners, you do something with them. I thought about life. that, I thought about that. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. they help you with the talent and then we judge it in real life. In real life. Like she could paint you while you do a song while somebody, that girl singing with you while that guy's rapping. And then I judge And in the background, the horse girl's there. And then a motorcycle. <laughs> Okay, I would actually really love that idea if that were able to happen. However, I can only imagine how much work would go into setting something like that up. So I want it to be known that if Ricky Dillon were considering doing something like this, I would be there and take a flight to Los Angeles in a heartbeat. But if it doesn't work out, that's totally fine. But I would definitely love the opportunity to do something like this and kind of meet everyone else who was mentioned in the video because like I love them so much they're also talented so I think like having an opportunity for us to like all do something would be really fun but also I can only imagine how difficult that would be to set up. I love that yes. Yeah um, I give her a 10. Oh, they're yeah, I phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, You're the cool last I love one. them. Okay, so now that we finished watching that, I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory to like the way I found out that I was mentioned in the video. So I was literally over at my best friend's house because we are planning for an upcoming trip, which I'm super excited for. Um, I'm actually going to be vlogging it, which will be really fun because that's something I've been wanting to incorporate into my channel. And so y'all kind of get to experience it with me for the first time in May, so that'll be fun. But I was over at her house and we were planning it and all of a sudden I checked my phone because we were looking something up and my phone was just blowing up with YouTube notifications. And I just kind of like stared at it for a sec. I was just kind of like, huh, that's odd. And so as I was opening my phone, I saw a comment and it literally said, I'm the first one here from Ricky's video. And I'm just, so we grab the laptop, we type in Ricky Dillon, we go to his video, we click on his most recent one. The first thing I do is I scroll into the description box and I saw my name and I literally, this is gonna sound so dramatic and I'm sorry, but I just fell to the floor and started sobbing because it was just 
so life-changing and once again I know how dramatic that sounds and I'm sorry for that I don't know how else to word it but I knew in that moment that this was going to change my YouTube career that Ricky Dillon was sharing his audience with me and like that doesn't sound like much but first of all just the fact that they acknowledged me is absolutely insane but the fact that they are then appreciating my work and urging their followers to go check out more of my work is like it sounds crazy because I see so many of y'all's comments and once again y'all are the sweetest freaking people I have ever met and y'all are like commenting on other people's posts to be like oh check out Madeline Klein like Ricky gave her us when in like reality like he gave me you guys he gave me and trusted me with a piece of his community and I cherish and treasure you guys so much and I really can't even put it into words because I love y'all so freaking much and I really hope that I'm able to produce content for y'all that make you guys proud that make you enjoy my channel and my content so once that happened and to be honest my friend and I we fast forwarded to the part in the video where they started talking about me and sharing my work and I was just crying the entire time because being a small content creator I knew that this was going to be a game changer in my career and it was just it was already happening like I was already gaining subscribers and it was all happening so fast like that day honestly after 4 p.m. just felt like a blur because everything was just coming in and I was in shock and then it like hit me and it was just it was a wave of emotions I'd already called my parents and told them my sister was freaking out like everybody was so excited because it was just insane that this was happening and my parents called me back and they were like did you see the end of the video do you see what you placed and I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And so my friend and I get back on the laptop and we watch the end of the video and apparently I was in a three-way tie for first place, which I was not expecting. So it was a three-way tie between me, AG Jitters, which was the doll video, which I freaking love so much because it takes so much time and talent to be able to make something like that and patience. I can only imagine. So AG Jitters is so freaking talented and the video is low-key creepy. But I love creepy things, so that's kind of on brand for me, to be honest. And then also Kennedy Estrada, aka Toilet Girl, who I think has a beautiful voice. And we all know that those bathrooms have amazing acoustics. So keep doing you and keep... Oh my gosh, I hope I get to see more videos because that was like so good. But anyways, I'm so grateful to have had that opportunity and to have the opportunity now to entertain you guys and provide videos for you guys that I really hope you're going to enjoy. So with that being said, I want to address a few things on my channel that if you're just now joining and you haven't been here for the past year and a half, you might not know my pattern of things or lack thereof or kind of how I like to do certain videos on my channel. So I kind of wanted to briefly explain that for you guys. For those of you wondering, I don't really have a set uploading schedule. They kind of just go up whenever they're finished, which I personally prefer because that gives me a little bit more freedom to spend more time editing, more time filming, and more time kind of just getting everything together. And typically I end up getting more videos up that way. I try to get at least a video up a week. I usually don't struggle with that except for about two times in the year where things just get really busy. But besides that, I usually get at least one up a week and honestly it can range anywhere between one to five videos just depending on how busy that week is and kind of what is going on. So on my channel I have three series that I do throughout the year. The first one that I do is my Broadway body paint series and basically for these I take the artwork from a playbill or musical soundtrack and body paint that onto my model. What I really love about this series in particular was one is it was something that was completely original by me. It all started with my Dear Evan Hansen body paint. All I did was I looked at that playbill and I was kind of like huh that would be really interesting if maybe I could replicate that on an actual person because if you've seen the Dear Evan Hansen playbill, it's literally Evan with his cast and his shirt and it's from the nose down. And so I was like thinking maybe I could try and paint that onto a person and that was the moment where this entire series started. I've been doing it since. It is one of my favorite series even though there's only three so it's kind of like how can you have a favorite? So once my Broadway body paint series is finished up we have a few more fun summer looks that we get to do some creative makeup in there. There might be like a week or two where there's like a little gap in between uploads simply because I'm preparing for the next series which is Halloween. So for Halloween the way I like to do it is for every weekday I have a new Halloween makeup tutorial and every Saturday I have a spoopy Saturday which is basically just a non makeup related video I get to either play video games or we maybe do a story time or a tag just something to kind of break up all of the makeup tutorials because it can definitely be a lot and it definitely gives me an opportunity to kind of break the makeup trend and have a little bit more fun 
with you guys. And so once Halloween is finished up, we go straight into my 12 days of SFX Miss. For my 12 days of SFX Miss, the way I like to do it is for the first 12 days of December, I upload a Christmas themed special effects makeup look. Sometimes it can lean a little bit more beauty, but other times it can definitely lean a little bit more gore and a twist on your normal Christmas characters. So those are the three main series that I have here on my channel and I love them so much, but in between that we obviously need more creative content, makeup tutorials, but that is where you guys come in. I personally have a list of looks that I want to do, but I want to know from you guys in the comments down below what videos do you want to see me do? What kind of tutorials? What kind of characters? And even if I don't do it now, I will likely put it on my list and possibly do it in the future, especially if you're thinking Halloween already. Please give them to me because I'm going to be starting to buy that stuff very soon. I kind of already have my list together, but once again, I really want to hear from you guys what you want to see and I want to try and make that happen. Now, with that being said, the next two videos that I have are favorites videos because I still have to upload my January and my February favorites. And I also have a clothing haul. So those are going to be going up and I know that they're not really makeup related videos, but I personally love my favorites videos because they're very conversational and I get to show you guys what I've been loving. And honestly, for the most part, they're not even really makeup related. It's just all around things that I've been loving that month that I want to share with you guys. But don't worry because my next creative makeup look is going up sometime next week, which I'm really excited for. And to give you guys a little hint without giving it away, this character that I am going to be transforming myself into is quite popular right now. Now I also have another video idea that I want to go up right after that creative makeup look. And I want to know if you guys would be interested in it because this is something that would include you guys. And so I know that assumptions tag has been going around the internet and it's kind of popular right now. So if I'm going to do it, I feel like I would want to do it now while it's still kind of relevant and while you guys would still be interested in doing it. But I think it'd be really fun to do because I suddenly have 8,000 new subscribers that honestly you guys have all likely made some kind of assumption about me that I would love to discuss and almost kind of treat it as a get to know me in a way is you tell me what assumptions you've made about me and I can tell you if it's true or false and feel free to make them weird and kind of be like, what's your favorite root beer? AWR Barks because I can tell you there's a right answer to that one. I'm going to be leaving a poll up here that if you guys have the time, please just check yes or no so I kind of can get an idea. If I do that, it's going to be over on my Instagram which is linked down below but it is just at Madeline Klein and so I would probably be posting those questions sometime next week and I would probably only upload the video if you guys actually sent questions so that's why I, I want to know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. So anyways, for my last topic, I'm going to be talking about the giveaway that I plan on doing. So initially, I was going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I announced that like a month ago. I had it all planned out. I was like, okay, statistically, I'll probably get this maybe by the summer, just depending, maybe even after. So I was kind of starting to accumulate the things I wanted to put in the giveaway. And then all of a sudden, Ricky Dillon comes in and just completely changes everything. So because of this, now I'm going to have a 1K through 8K subscriber giveaway. And so for this, it is going to be about $100 worth of product, which I know isn't that much, and I'm sorry about that. I tried to pick a bunch of items that I personally love that I think you guys would really like because I've talked about them in my favorites videos and just things that I personally want to share with you guys. So because of this and because this giveaway has basically been smushed into one giveaway, but the price limit is still the same, I'm actually going to be having a another giveaway sometime in May where there are going to be multiple winners so more of you can have an opportunity to win something. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and a big thank you to anyone who has supported my channel. Whether that be a previous subscriber, a video view, a comment, a like, or actually being a new subscriber to me. It truly means the world to me and I really appreciate your support. And I can't say that enough. I know all my comments sound repetitive but it's because I want each of you to know how important your support means to me. I also want to give another big, big thank you to Ricky Dillon and Shane Dawson for sharing your audience with me. It truly means so much to me if you're watching this and I do not take it for granted at all. So I think that's about it. Make sure to leave any recommendations in the comments down below because I really want to see what you guys are interested in seeing me transform myself into next. So with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!